Greetings and welcome back to our channel. In this new video, we'll be talking about the core main net and the withdrawal of the core is already here. If you look at the announcement bar where you see Twitter, you look here, you will see core withdrawal. It's a very important message that you need to adhere strictly to. If you click there, you will see the message that the core withdrawal function is now open. You can claim your token by linking your wallet address. The app will process the first batch of users with linked address on February 6th. Please claim your token as soon as possible before the timeline to avoid any delay. Please read the important notice on the withdrawal page very carefully to avoid incorrect operation that will cause you major loss of fun. So the essence of this video is to throw more light on how you can do this without issues. And that's why we are making this video to guide viewers and followers. Please watch this video very carefully to the end. If you like what we are doing, give this video a thumb up, hit the like button and hit the notification button as well so that you always be the first to be notified when important videos like this are made. Now without much ado, we are going straight to the business of the day. And this procedure, if you look below here where you have the tax bar, this area here you notice all the icons there you see airdrop projects team quotes and me it will be much about you here so you click on me and we are in this very area of this uh, satoshi page so in this area you click on this arrow at the end of your wallet there's an arrow there there in that arrow it will take you to where all the assets are displayed this is where you find all the assets being displayed you find btc you find core you find material you find tca and the tcb and tcc all the relevant coins associated with this project we are more interested in core because the core withdrawal is here and so if you look at the extreme end of the core function you realize that there is an arrow here again now when you click on your token you will see deposit withdrawal and transfer like in the case of other tokens are here where you see deposit withdrawal and transfer even in btc you can see the withdrawal button for BTC is open and likewise in Satoshi you have the same withdrawal buttons open as well in this format. Here you'll be prompted either to select your region or to link your wallet address. Depending on the stage you are, any of those questions can come up. But in case you are requested to select your region, what you need to do is go back to me where you get to personal settings and here in personal settings click on the arrow by the extreme end of personal settings to get to where you see country or region where they say choose country or region so here if you click on this area you will see the list of all the countries in the world there select your country and highlight it and you'll be okay then after doing that you can now return back to where we were where you click on this arrow at the extreme end to go back to that withdrawal page so here you click at the extreme end here to see this page again where you see link wallet address 
you can now click on link wallet address to proceed with your wallet linking so when you click on link wallet address you will prompted to change your font password or your access password you see a page like this that is requesting your login details here then your asset password here then you confirm your asset password here so after confirming your asset password you will see a prompt like this showing you that asset password is set successfully make sure you copy those passwords and keep them in a very safe place where you will not forget them or where it will not be misplaced and where no one else will get access to, access to it because that is your phone password you will be needing it it's very important after doing this you need to refresh your system to return back to where you'll be linking your address if you don't refresh it you will continue to see another message like this asking you old asset password new asset password confirm the new asset password this is because you've not refreshed system might request you to continue to change this but after changing you might not be seeing all these messages any longer so after changing your asset password the link withdrawal address will be open to you if you click on it you will now find this very option where you can go to your metamax wallet pick your wallet address and drop it on this page where you can find it here and then you'll be requested to enter your asset password after entering your password like this with your wallet address up here you can now hit this button call link withdrawal address and you'll be taken to the next stage where you are requested to check your email address for a verification code that will be entered here so go to this email address that you used for your call there in your email address you find an email from satoshi that looks exactly like this now click on that email and you will see a code sent to you from satoshi the email topic says you are transferring or withdrawing on satoshi now this code that you are receiving is very important to proceed to the next step of your wallet linking so copy that code and return back to the previous page so when you get to this page you will need to paste the code here and then click on confirm the app will automatically request that you start a verification you need to verify that you are not a boot and then you click here to start verification where they say start verification the verification process will prompt you that you allow satoshi to make and manage your phone call you click on allow and the next stage you say allow satoshi to access your photos and media on your device and you also click on allow after you allow satoshi app to access those very informations your camera will be activated 
as though you were logging in for the first time. You've been requested to do some certain functions like moving your head slowly to the left and to the right, open your mouth and a picture of you is taken for confirmation. Lower your head down slowly. 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 Wink. Raise your head slowly. Raise your head slowly. So after doing all the needful, you will be prompted that your address has been linked successfully. And when once your address is linked, whenever you come into this very area, you'll be shown link your wallet address. And when you click link your wallet address, you will see your address will automatically pop up above there, which means your address has been linked. In as much as you've seen that notification, address linked successfully. And there's a message below here that says you can link or change your wallet address three times before you can lock your transaction. If you see here, you, you realize that I have two times left. I have linked once and uh, I can lock my registration. I need to do it like three times to lock, but I'm okay with this first one. And that is the message. The most important issue here now is if you see a repetition of the messages being written here, do not use a core deposit address from any exchange. Do not use a core deposit address from any exchange. Do not use a core deposit address from any exchange. This message is repeated for warning and the essence is if you do that you will not receive call from a smart contract so you need to be very careful not to use a, an exchange address use the address from your metamax use the address from a decentralized wallet use your address from a decentralized wallet to be on the safe side so that is it on how to link your core. I will make another video to show you how to add core, the core minute to your Metamax wallet. In that video, I will be rounding up some things that I've not talked about here for the purpose of clarity and understanding. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video. Bye.